Well, if you were from that Woodstock, Vietnam era, you'd notice that I put a few subliminal messages into the introduction. <laughs> and I thought it'd be appropriate to do a love reading for the Woodstock anniversary. The first overall energy card that I pull is the one that I come across first from the deck that either represents your sign, which would be strength, or the sun for you, Leo, and any court wands card or the two of cups of the lovers. And I stumbled across the sun card first and then I pull out the spread after that. The sun is a great foundation. It's the center of our universe, our, of our galaxy. It brings life-giving energy. And that's what this reading is about is who are you giving your energy to and who's taking it from you? Now the cards to the left for what you know category, you receive the Magician and the Ten of Cups. Now the Magician is about making something out of nothing. He uses his free will and ideas to manifest substance. And he's pointing up to the sky and down to the ground, indicating that what is above is as below. He's using cosmic energy coming down to earth. To bring his goals into a reality. He gives you the tools that you need. And all you need to do is the ambition and the determination to make something in your life. He not only wants you to command your life, but he wants you to control it too. The magician is number one and the sun card is number 19. In the midst of in between those, you found some love some stable love, family, friends. And you've also found some happiness and satisfaction. I call the Ten of Cups the Rainbow of Cups, and you can see a glimpse of heaven on the other side. But in order to achieve this happiness, you have to have a simple life and realistic goals and be down to earth. Bring the cosmic energy, like the magician does, down to earth. And then you will find joy, the joy of just being alive. Now, just as you're feeling really good about things, there's always something that'll throw a wrench into the gears. And here are the center cards for what is or can be yours. You receive the devil and the empress. Now, they're vying for your energy. The devil will tempt you into bondage. So you have no personal growth. And contrarily, the Empress is the nurturing mother that brings you abundance and joy. But you have a choice. Do you want the devil or do you want the Empress? The devil wants to take your power away. And the Empress wants to give you power because she is about creation. And creation takes a lot of power. And she represents the same thing as the magician does of creation, making something out of nothing, growing, sowing seeds, sprinkling your ideas for them to cultivate, germinate. So what is it for you? This category is what is or can be yours, so are you already under the bondage of the devil? Are you willing to open up yourself to the empress's fertility and beauty of life? Now the cards to the right of that is your awareness or self-awareness. And you receive the Six of Swords and the King of Swords. The Six of Swords is about moving away from something, going from turbulent to tranquil waters. And the King of Swords is about taking control, taking control of your life. He's an air sign, and this is mind, intellect, it's mind over matter. And it appears some of you have woke up. And you're moving away from the devil and accepting the empress's offer of fertility and abundance. The Six of Swords isn't just about moving forward and maybe even some travel involved in the future. But it's also about helping you through a seamless transition of different adjustments. Now the future cards, 
You received the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the King of Cups. Now the Eight of Wands is sudden change, sudden events unfolding. But it's a really positive card. It's positive events happening that are falling, everything's falling into place. As with the Six of Swords, this card can also indicate some type of travel and it can also indicate news. And it is about us adjusting to different phases of our life and helps us deal with all of the different changes as it goes along because we certainly make different decisions when you're younger versus when we're older. Now the Four of Swords is about taking a time out. It's more of a convalescing card where you've been into battle and it's time to rest a little bit and think things over and maybe everything was really draining and exhausting because the Sun card is about energy and there's been a lot of energy expelled here. But the next card is the King of Cups and this is a love reading and here you are, you're at the apex of a King of Emotions. But he's reminding you to keep control of your emotions. You know, he could be cold as outer space on the outside, but he is molten lava on the inside. But he's learned how to control himself. He's mastered his emotions so that he can enjoy love, affection, intimacy. Because the Empress, too, is about the material and the fulfillment of pleasure. She wants you to be pleased by the world, by your world, and by the people around you. This was a really pleasant reading. I know Leos have had kind of a rough road the last little while in their life, and I'm glad things are straightening out for you. Now, I pulled a During Virtue Messages of the Angels card for you, and you received Archangel Uriel. Uriel actually means God is my light. And this is what Doreen says, Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open up to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. I think the Four of Swords was there about taking time out to release a lot of things. And the Empress is there like a mother to soothe a hurt heart. And the King of Cups also is about helping people that have injured emotions. Now before I sign off, I thought this Woodstock era was pretty wild. And there's a lot of absurd things involved in that era that is just really strange. There was people protesting against the, the system, quote unquote. And where are they now? They're retiring from the system. They took their love beads and jeans off and put suits on. And then instead of being out in some park, they're in a CEO office. And you know what? They actually became the problem. And so I did this little piece a couple months ago. And it's, it's really short. And I just wanted you to, to listen to it. And it's called The Absurd. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness. Mm -hmm.